good morning everybody this is organic dairyman and welcome back to my channel today is friday may 21st i hope that you guys are doing great today i'm doing pretty good and uh well today we are gonna go and uh plant some corn finally we're gonna go and uh do that job so yeah so uh yeah i got the seed corn in the back of the pickup there if you can see the big plastic around the thing flapping up and i'm headed over to the far away field that's where the first field of corn that we're going to be planting and as soon as, as soon as we get done planting corn over there uh, we got the other side of the field we're going to um, plant beans on so as soon as we get done with corn we're going to switch over to beans that way since we're over there we're all set up now we don't have to bring the corn planter back but anyways that's what we got going on here today and last evening i brought the corn planter over there so that way it'd be ready to go and we're going to use the one track with gps so we're going to try to use the gps on there and i think i got it figured out how to get it to work for plant row crops finally so yeah so we'll see how that goes and uh then uh, my uncle he's gonna come over probably in about an hour he's gonna start working the other side of the field so that way that side is ready for planting soybeans so and yeah and my brother is back home milking cows well my cousin Matt came over to help because he owes us a little help back anyway so so we got a lot going on here today and hopefully Hopefully we get that everything goes okay. We get the corn planted okay. And we really, really, really need some rain. So hopefully we get some because we are getting it dry. So we'll see what happens. Okay, for the most part. Okay, ready to start loading up the planter with corn. Um, obviously, I had to put some fuel in that tractor there for my uncle when he comes over to work. So, uh, yeah. So anyways, that's what I got going on here. What's going on right now? I'm gonna back up to the pickup truck over there and start loading the seed corn. Um, I got everything, once I get everything loaded up, I'm gonna have to run back home. I gotta get some oil, some hydraulic oil for this tractor. I forgot yesterday when I left to get some oil, check the hydraulic oil in it. It needs some hydraulic oil. It's, it's below the safe line, so I gotta get some Oh, I just completely forgot about that. I did everything else in this track yesterday. Now I uh, blew out the radiator, blew out the cab filter, greased up the front end, did a bunch of stuff. But I forgot to check the hydraulic oil. So now I gotta run back home and get some more. At least gotta get probably four gallons. <sighs> probably four gallons of hydraulic oil anyways. We'll get this thing loaded up and uh, I guess I'll have to do that. get out and check and see how the seed depth is doing and if it's getting down in the moisture. Crap, I forgot to get the tape measure. I guess I'll have to use my finger, but 
Anyways, I didn't have to run home to get oil. Actually, my uncle is gonna bring the oil. He's throwing by our place, the home farm there, and he's gonna grab the oil. So he should be coming here pretty soon, but I better check that sea depth, see what it looks like. Is it? Uh, where is the seed? Oh, the, there it is. <sighs> I like I would have to put it down a little bit more. It's kind of hard because this stuff, the part that I'm planting right here was sod, or it, it is sod. It was pasture and we're breaking it up and I hate doing sod. That over there we broke up a long time ago, a few years back, but this, this is sod. I know people are saying, yo, look at those trenches. Because they got the trash wait for set down too low. But we gotta get that corn into moisture because I just don't know if it's gonna rain. I don't want to take any chances, but I know yeah, it's pushing a lot of dirt, but they say it's hard to plant corn in a sod because sod is just so freaking dry. I gotta get that seed down into moisture. Well, so far, everything seems to be going okay. The GPS is working. Now they finally got this figured out. The most it got off there is by three inches once. You know, we're not using, we're, we don't have a subscription, we're just using the, the free government system. But it seems like it's been pretty, pretty good. And don't mind that. That thing, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but I know that it's working because I could see it turning back there and I just checked that row and there was corn going in it. I should probably just replace that sensor but sometimes the light will go out sometimes it won't. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, it seems to be getting it pretty good. So, but I know like I said, I'm digging some trenches but we gotta get that corn down into moisture. I just hate, hate the sod. Oh, I hate that. So, um, yeah, so I'm glad we got this figured out. But you know, I figure even this thing gets off by three inches, yeah, you think about it. <laughs> when, when I'm out plant sometimes and you're wa watching the marker, sometimes you're probably off by that anyways, probably even more sometimes. And this stuff is so dry, it's so hard to see where the mark is anyway. But so, I guess it's working. So, saves a lot of stress. At least it's working. Okay, I got all done planting this one side of the field here. And so now I think I'm just gonna empty out the boxes here to tomorrow, cause tomorrow we'll have to switch it over to beans. So I might as well just get them emptied out. So it didn't turn out too bad how much seed is left over. I don't know, maybe I didn't have to put that last as, as much in as what I thought, but. So anyways, I'm gonna do that and then head back home and do chores and uh, yeah 
Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to day two of this video. I am just uh, filling up the... or measuring out the soybean meal here this morning. And uh, yeah, so today, what are we gonna be doing around here today? Well, hopefully we're gonna start planting uh, soybeans today, that's the hope. Um, actually, last night we had to go back over to the faraway field but to put some fuel in the New Holland TG210, the tractor that my uncle was working with because he needed more fuel in there so he could finish up working this morning. So he went over there earlier this morning to work it. So hopefully he got, or is getting about done. So then today that means we can go and work at uh, plant beans here later on. And uh, Oh, I'm not looking forward to beans because when you do beans, you know, you're, you're planting at a much higher higher rate in it But and those uh, I remember in the last video I showed you we ordered some of those seed toppers Toppers for the boxes that they came yesterday. So we'll be using those so That's gonna help out a lot and holds an extra bushel So we should be able to fit more beans in there. So we'll have to stop. We won't have to stop as much, but It still takes time though. I hate so we're gonna primarily try to work at that today. I know we got to grind a batch of feed for the calves here today too. So, but we'll see what happens. See how the day goes. Let's see what we can get done. That's all you can do. Hey, good morning, General. Ah, oh, there they are. Okay, now yeah, we're all done with the milking chores here. And uh, we're gonna wait to feed the cows here quick because there's a, a friend of ours, we had them build a, build a new feed bunk for us to feed in the other one. There's one of them that's in the cow's lot that's, in, well, it's in need of repair. It's about ready to fall apart, so we gotta get that one replaced. So we gotta, he's gonna be coming here in about 20-ish minutes or so, and then he's gonna bring the new one. We're gonna unload it, but in the meantime, why I'm waiting, Ugh. I had to get these, uh, so I could show you those things there. They're for the um, corn planter, or for the bean meaners, I should say, for plant beans. So I am going to uh, put these in the loader bucket here. Then I gotta bring the TM125 up to the yard so we could use the pallet forks in here to unload that feed bunk and then get the old one and he's gonna take the old one back and he's gonna fix that one up for us. So then we gotta go over to my cousin's place to um, get some more soybeans um, because we ordered some soybeans. There's some organic ones that we ordered. Um, they're a category two. I think these are category ones. And uh, those are organic, those particular ones that we got. So um, but we need to go over there and get them. Because my one cousin's son is a, he's the dealer for, uh, well, well, not that, but I thought I had my other hat on. That's the <laughs> C-Mix hat um, for Blue River. So, so that's what the scoop is. And that's what's uh, going on. Okay, for those of you that don't know what the bean meters are, these are what they what they are here. So these are actually Kinsey bean meters. They fit on a John Deere planter. And these just fit over the boxes. And these are the seed plates. This is what throws the seed out. They catch on these little grooves in here. And this rotates on here if I get it. There we go. And they rotate just like that. And the seed comes out right there. So that's how they work. So I got eight of these I got to get ready so we can take them over there. And, um, oh, I don't know. It sure looks like it could rain, but I don't think it is. It's just really a lot of dark clouds. We need to get the rainmakers to come and make it rain. Or somebody seed the clouds with silver iodine and make it rain I don't know <laughs> maybe I don't know
now just doing a quick some other jobs here why uh well obviously i got to do a little bit of the feeding here and we decided to do that because uh, we needed to, we just got the soybeans over here um actually we just put them on a trailer that we were borrowing from my cousin and he was using it for a little bit and so he just went and got the beans and brought it over there while we were waiting we were just, uh, working at that that's got to be cleaned up anyway so um he's gonna work at that i'm gonna start feeding here in a little bit and then we're gonna probably take the beans over there after we get done with um this, this stuff okay well we haven't left yet i'm gonna leave here in just a little bit i guess i'm gonna take my little mazda truck over there that way um I could go over there because I got to get uh, these things put on. You got to get some screws. You got to screw them on there so they stay on there. You got to bring some extra stuff. But um, yeah, so that's what they look like. They hold an extra bushel. But you'll see when we get them over there. And that's the seed. The bean seed. This isn't everything that we we need. This here should probably seed about 50 acres. We got about 70 acres total to put in. But that's what they are. Blue River organic soybeans there so everybody could see they are organic so so anyways i better get uh get the last of the stuff i need and head over there Okay, after finally got all that stuff done. Seems like there's a lot of stuff to do when you have to switch the planter over, but the biggest thing is filling up all those boxes. But it's getting now we can go further on one fill. I think this will be able to do 16 acres. <laughs> 16 acres with that on there, but it's more than last year. I'm glad I found those things ordered them and got them it's something that i've been wanting to do for a long time okay and now i've got to find where my mark is out here in the field so i'm gonna get busy planting and i'm probably gonna have to get out once and check to see the depth of the beans i just want to get them down into moisture this year because i just don't know if we're gonna get any rain it's going to be turning into a desert desert around here for a while. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I think I'm going to quit for tonight. Go back home. And have my brother milk cows because I think I might make it to the end but I don't think I'll make it back but yeah those things are definitely a lot nicer having those extensions on there but uh, I'm not gonna film tonight though so Oh, hey. Good morning, newborn calf. You hungry? Or not? You're still full from last night, I suppose. <coughs> yep. Oh. oh, well, good afternoon. Welcome to the third day of this video. Oh man, it was nice and cool last night. It cooled off, now it's warmed up again. And still no rain. We're like dry as a bone. I don't know what I did with my sunglasses. Looking for them and looking for them and looking for them. I must have left them in my other pickup truck that's over at the far away. And so it's like, ah, 
I need to get another pair of sunglasses. So anyways, I'm gonna work on some of the feeding here, and then I'm gonna go over back over and start planting, reload the planter up again, and start over. Hopefully we get more done today. I was a little bit behind because I had to go to church this morning. So yeah. So let's see what we can get done here today. I gotta grind a bale of hay for the young stock of the dry cows, so we'll just see what uh, that thing's going. Just hope we get some rain. Oh dang it. I'm so tired of it being so dry. It's so much better if you put some water with it. Uh, yeah, not so many pounds of water it is. I don't know how many gallons it is, but they just eat it better. But... Yeah, and I think our chance of rain just went away for the day. It evaporated, came up from the south and evaporated. And my brother is just unloading the feed there. We had a uh, grind a batch of feed for cows. I think I got enough water in there. Okay, I gotta stop here at the filling station and get some diesel fuel for this truck here. So that way, it's getting low. Now, oh, let's see if I can remember how to work these. I think you gotta go to the other side, pay on the other side to get these to work, I think. We gotta take a look at this junkyard. <laughs> There's two brothers have the same junkyard, but they two different businesses. One guy is, is more decorative, and this is the other brother. That's the dividing line right there. His isn't quite as organized, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd just quick show you that. I'm just taking a little back road here to get to the far away field. And um, yeah, I got some new sunglasses. I don't know. weren't exactly the pair I wanted, but it's what they had at the gas station there. So, whatever. Okay. Um, I just put enough seed in here to hopefully make it a one round. Just down and back because the reason why is because that pallet there has a different variety than the pallet that we first put in there yesterday and so i want to take when we get done here i want to take a flag and mark where i stopped with this variety that way we could kind of compare the two varieties see how they they do so that's the deal anyway so i'm gonna see if I made it I did bring two of those bags along with me just in case we got them in the rock box just in case I run out on the way back yeah it looks like there's some rain forming over there in Minnesota but nothing over here okay well, I guess you guys didn't see it but I just got done filling the planter back there. It probably took about an hour to do it by myself between putting all the bags in and inoculating all the seed. And, well, then I had a little lunch break. My wife brought me something to eat, so I had a little lunch break. So now I should be able to go for a while here anyways. But boy, that sure takes a long time to fill that planter up by yourself. I don't know, next year we gotta come up with a faster way. Like the beans, maybe we can just 
I don't know. We'll think of something maybe. But something that's faster. Inoculate them and put them on the fill up the planter. Call it quits for tonight. Whoops. Okay, everyone, it is time to end this video. Yes that time already anyways i guess for me it's been a long three days for you it's just been however long this video is going to be 20 30 minutes long but anyways so hopefully well it's after midnight now so hopefully today we'll get done seeding that field of beans i hope we're going to sure try for it we need a bigger planter that's a big field i think the whole field is at least for us it is huh? Like the whole thing with the corn that I planted and then the beans that I planted, the whole thing is 130 acres. Yeah, it's a big field for us, but for most farmers, big farmers, it's not a big field, but for us it is. If we didn't have cows to milk, it wouldn't be a big field, but anyways, I'm tired, guys, so uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and uh, also check out my Rumble channel if you haven't yet and uh, pretty much the same stuff that you're going to find here on YouTube, but Anyways, just go check it out, and uh, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and uh, that's all I've got. So have a good night, take care, and see you in the next video.